Hey everyone, my name is Elliot Butler. I spent 2023 on the Lone Star Ranger team and I am transitioning into becoming a lieutenant, uh, Lone Star Lieutenant team. So I'm super excited to bring you what's in my 100% Lone Star bag. Uh, so let's get into this because I'm super excited about it. We're gonna start where everybody wants to start, the distance drivers. Starting off with my most overstable distance driver is a brand new Lone Star Disc Bravo Tombstone. Uh, the Tombstone is a 13 speed disc, but it feels a little bit more like a 12, 12 and a half speed. The rim is actually very comfortable. It's got a very low profile and overstable edge. Absolutely amazing disc. Uh, you, everybody needs something that's overstable and the Tombstone is amazing at that. So, um, love the Tombstone. So much so that I have a second one. This one was actually one that was my first Lone Star disc ever. My first uh, off season as part of Lone Star. Uh, this was a Christmas gift and as soon as I threw it, I knew that I loved it. Um, for all of the season, it was my most overstable distance driver, but then I took it out and I threw it couple days ago and it's a little bit more understable now which means that it's it kind of pushed out one of my warbirds so this thing has a bit of turn but still a lot of fade it goes very far i really enjoy this tombstone i expect this disc to be a workhorse for me in the coming season so great disc moving down in stability i have a bayonet this bayonet is slightly flippy but one thing I've noticed with all of Lone Star discs is that even though they may have some turn, they all have some late flight stability. And I've never seen that with any other disc that I've thrown or any other brand that I've thrown that's like so characteristic to their molds. So one thing I really love about the bayonet is I can flip it up, it'll turn, I can even, even hammer it on some Anheuser and it'll turn, but it's gonna fight out of it the entire way. And it's really, really hard to burn this disc over. So I really enjoy the Lone Star disc bayonet. Next disc is the Lone Star Disc Warper. This one is in Bravo plastic, it's a little bit gummier. This one came as part of my first large shipment from Lone Star. It had a slightly uh, warped top, and so it had a very unique flight characteristic where it had some really early turn, but then some late fade. Uh, it's kind of a utility disc, I don't throw it a lot. Um, because of its slightly warped top, it doesn't have a lot of glide, so it doesn't go very far for me, but it is a good forehand disc. And I'll pull this one out for, um, for some backhands as well. So I enjoy this Warbird in a ton. Uh, the most understable of my distance drivers is this Lone Star Disc Curl. Uh, the Curl is a disc that almost anyone can throw. This disc is my farthest flying disc. I don't know if I said that already, but uh, I threw this on flat ground 520 feet one time and I was blown away by it. Like all of the others, again, it has that early turn, but late fade that keeps this thing from totally burning over. So lots of glide, some late flight stability, keeps this disc in my bag for sure. So thanks Billy for this disc. Billy Haubner, shout out Disc Thrift. This disc is amazing. All right, now for the control drivers and fairway drivers. Starting out with the Lisa Fakus Team Series Tumbleweed. This disc is definitely a utility disc. It's a good forehand hyzer flip to turn disc. It's a good backhand roller. I don't throw this often, but it definitely has a spot in the bag. I enjoy this disc a lot. Um, don't throw it a lot, but it is a good one. If you're newer to the game and are looking for a distance driver, the Tumbleweed is the one for you. Definitely check this one out. All right, the most utility of utility discs, uh, the Chupacabra. I once had a tilt, and this that disc is the closest one I can compare the Chupacabra to. It is so overstable that it doesn't go over 250. I don't think I've ever thrown it over 250 feet. It's a good backhand, forehand Anheuser disc that if you need to kind of move through a gap and then have it fade, this is an amazing disc for that. It's also really good for over the top where you don't want it to kind of flip up and glide a bit. You can just throw it practically vertical and it's gonna land practically vertical. So it's also a good thumber disc. If you throw thumbers, I don't, but I can see this disc being really good for that. So definitely utility disc, but it belongs in the bag for sure. My favorite of the fairway drivers, uh, at least in the nine speed category, 
is the Mad Cat. The Mad Cat's supposed to kind of be a Thunderbird, but I find it more a Thunderbird-Firebird hybrid. It's still got the glide of the Thunderbird, but it's kind of starting to get towards the fade of the Firebird level. You put this thing out flat, it'll go like 350 on nothing but hyzer. Um, awesome, awesome disc. It works on forehand as well. I find myself reaching for this disc a ton. Next up is the Lone Star Disc Lariat. The Lariat is a little bit uh, understable on the understable side, uh, but it also has some late stability, as I've been saying all these Lone Star Discs do. This disc I especially love on forehand flip-up shots where I can just throw it flat. It'll give me some turns, but it'll give me some fade as well. It's also really good on hyzer flips, a very controllable fairway driver. The Lariat is another one of those discs that's gonna be really good for lower arm speed players. Um, it's got a very comfortable feel. Uh, this one's in Bravo plastic. Enjoy this disc as well. A newer addition to the bag is the Lone Star Disc Frio. The Frio is kind of more along the lines of a T-Bird or an Eagle in terms of stability. It's really, really nice. It's got some turn, it's got some fade. Uh, I find myself reaching for this disc a lot for anything around the 300, 320 mark where I just need to kind of put it dead straight, uh, let it turn, and then let it fade. Awesome disc. Last but not least, and my favorite drivers are the Mockingbirds. I carry two of them. This one's an Alpha, this one's in Bravo. The Bravo's a bit flippier, it's a little bit older, uh, but even though it's flippy, it still has like flight stability. This one is a little bit more stable, where it has a little bit less turn and a little bit more fade than this Bravo one. They complement each other very, very well. All right, moving into mid-ranges, I carry three of them. I have a Walker. This one's in Bravo plastic. It's a little bit lighter weight, but this thing is still incredibly overstable. Uh, I don't think I could get this one over 200, 250 uh, on forehand, definitely not over 250 on backhand. It is a really, really great disc. Um, yeah, I've aced with this one. Even though it's a five speed, it travels more the distance of a four speed, and it feels in its flight kind of like its own. Um, Lone Star just released the Horny Toad, which is a little bit closer to its own, but if you're looking for something that's going to replace it justice, the Walker is what you're looking for. The next two mid-ranges I have are Texas Rangers. I have one brand new in Delta One plastic. I've thrown this a couple times and it's got a little bit of flip, but a lot of fade. Kind of like a 5-5, negative 1-2 or something. Uh, this one is in Bravo plastic and is definitely true to the flight numbers. Again, as I've been saying with all these Lone Star Discs, these have a little bit of late fade. So what I'm hoping is I can beat this one in to kind of just flip all the way, and this one can be my more stable one. But right now, the Delta is a little bit more stable than the Bravo. So still amazing discs. They feel great in the hand and they fly so good. All right, moving to the approach discs. The approach discs is a category that I really enjoy throwing. It's really fun to just go out to a chip, uh, a ch like a pitch and putt course, I should say, and these discs are awesome for that. So um, I have two Alpha Harpoons. This one's a bit more stable. It's still pretty straight, but if I put it on enough hyzer, it'll just kind of do a pushing hyzer, which is a really, really fun flight to throw. This one's a bit flippier, so this one's a hyzer flip disc. Uh, both of them I'm reaching for like the 250, 270 range, nothing really over that. Um, and they do their flights so well. They complement each other and uh, yeah, just really enjoyable discs to throw. They're a bit on the shallow side, but they work great for forehand and backhands alike. Pretty neutral, but amazing. All right, similar to the Harpoon, in feel is the Arrowhead. The Arrowhead has a slightly bullish nose though compared to the uh, Harpoon, um, and it's a bit straighter. This disc is in the Aroma Blend, and although the scent has kind of wore off a bit, um, if you really want to sniff it, you still can. Uh, it's a good hyzer flip forehand approach disc, which is really cool. Those, that's a very fun shot to throw. Uh, it's also a good hyzer flip backhand disc for short shots. Um, but if you really wail on this thing, it's got the torque to handle it, but it will turn a ton while at the same time kind of leveling out as it goes. So this disc is fun to throw. 
definitely a utility uh, approach disc, but everybody needs one of those, so great disc. The last approach disc is this Penny Putter in Bravo Plastic. This was my first Lone Star Ace. Uh, another disc that came from Billy Hauptner, so shout out Billy with this grip. Um, it's not a very torque resistant disc, so it really makes you focus on your form, and if you hit it just right, it'll go very, very well for you. But if you are going a little too hard or you have a headwind that's going to accentuate the, uh, the flutter, this disc is going to flutter pretty well, uh, or pretty much. I can't speak. It, it's going to flutter for you. So um, I don't throw this thing on forehand. I'll throw this thing on like backhand turnovers or hyzer flip shots. It's a really touchy disc, but a really fun disc to throw. I really enjoy this penny putter. All right. Finally, the putters. The putting putters, I carry two Victor One Bull Snakes. I uh, experimented with probably four or five different putters throughout the season, a couple of them Lone Star, a couple of them other manufacturers. Now that I'm on the Lone Star Lieutenant team, I have to throw all Lone Star. And so um, I made the switch back to the Bull Snakes a couple weeks ago before I even knew I was gonna be on the Lieutenant team. So it worked out well. Uh, I've made more circle two putts with these discs than almost the last two seasons combined. This year has been a really good putting year for me from circle two compared to the last years. So having these discs in the bag really gives me that confidence to um, run those circle two putts. They are pretty overstable, so I can put them out high and right of the basket knowing that they're just gonna kind of hyzer right in. Um, the feel of these putters is also really good. I have big hands, and so deeper putters work for me. And um, the micro bead on these discs gives me a nice place to put my finger. It's not too big and it's not beadless. So for me, it's a perfect in-between and I really feel confident with these bull snakes on the putting green. So, love the bull snakes. Last but not least, the bag that I'm using is a Prodigy Disc BP2, B3. Uh, I picked this one up from Disc Thrift, my uh, retail sponsor, so huge thanks to Billy for getting me this one. Uh, it fits everything that I need it to. It's got pockets, it's got water bottle compartments, um, lots of pocket space in this bag. Uh, hopefully I will switch to the Lone Star bag at some point, but I needed something that would replace my falling apart dynamic discs OGO bag. So this bag is doing just fine for me. Uh, it fits all the Lone Star discs. And the only thing I would change about it is I'd slap the Lone Star logo right there. Um, but yeah, so yeah. That's what's in my bag. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, let me know what you think about all the drone footage down below and any ideas for how I could use the drone in the future. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Definitely check out these discs from OneStar.com and um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.